Gather round, kids, and watch a fledgling sports league kill any chance they have at popularity while turning into hypocritical assholes in less than a week. Last Thursday, Erica Nardini, CEO of Barstool Sports, an advocate, champion, and queen of women's hockey and the NWHL, has Kelly Babstock and Rebecca Russo, two female hockey players, on her podcast, Token CEO. They talk about the future of the sport, the future of the league, and they talk about girls everywhere being athletes and bosses. Friday through Sunday, women's hockey journalists trash Erica, trash Barstool Sports, and trash the NWHL for having any sort of connection to Erica. Monday, Erica Nardini responds on Token CEO, saying that the NWHL is still new and still needs support, still needs growth, still needs more popularity, and they cannot afford to alienate people of her ilk or Barstool Sports because the league is not in position to turn their back on anybody who actually has pure joy and interest in growing this game and growing the league. It's written in a way that suggested that the NWHL having any relationship or affiliation or association or connection to me or Barstool Sports would be a terrible thing. There Tuesday, the NWHL responds with a statement condemning Erica Nardini, saying that it's unacceptable to call out any reporters, any staff, or anybody who has given so much to the world of women's hockey. There you have it. In less than a week, the NWHL shoots itself in the foot, looks like a bunch of assholes, and turns their back on the only person with a platform and followers willing to give them the time of day. Welcome to the alternate reality where these hypocritical assholes live. Do you know how much of a gem Erica Nardini is? Do you know how perfect of an ally she is for women's hockey? Erica Nardini took a genuine interest in this league for nothing. She's not on the board. She's not getting paid. She's not doing anything other than playing the sport she loves, talking about the sport she loves, and putting on the athletes in that league, putting them out there, giving them shine, showing them love, trying to grow their image, trying to grow the sports image, trying to grow the league's image. And how does women's hockey respond? They tear her down. The absolute perfect spokeswoman for your sport and league who has made it to the top of her industry. A girl who is a boss, a CEO, a girl who has grown the boys club into a billion dollar company on her back, a girl who has installed other females in the C-suite here, a girl who has taken this company all male and turned it into a female powerhouse. She's made money. She's made fame. She's had fun. She plays sports. She knows business. She can clown. She can have fun. She can be serious. She can do it all. And she was about to do it for your league. And you put out a fucking statement saying you agree with these fucking pussies who make up, fabricate storylines about me and her and my coworkers and what we do here? You got the dead spins of the world calling her evil. Evil. The word evil is reserved for like the Hitlers of the world. The word evil is reserved for the people who cause like pain and harm, who kill and maim and murder. We are talking about a blog that she works for that you don't like. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You throw around words like evil. You throw around terms like white supremacy. You talk about barstool sports like we're fucking burning crosses and tying nooses. We're a fucking comedy site. We're telling jokes. Maybe you don't like the jokes. You don't have to like the jokes. Maybe you don't like my sense of humor. Maybe you don't like me. That's fine. But two things, you can't condemn an entire company because you don't like Dave Portnoy. You can't condemn an entire company because there's been five jokes over the last 20 years that have crossed the line. And you definitely can't put it on Erica Nardini because that's a woman who's done absolutely none of the shit that you might not like about Barstool. Never once has she told those jokes or engaged in any of that banter or talk. Never once has she crossed those lines in the name of comedy the way we have. She does nothing but run the business, keep idiots like me in line, and grow the sport of women's hockey. And you try to tear that down, why? Because you're not as popular, because you don't have as many followers, because you don't have as many likes, whatever the fuck it is. Because you wanna just run with a false narrative that we are white supremacists and that we're evil. And if you wanna start playing with the ledger, you want to do good for bad. You want to go tit for tat. You raised $30 million for small businesses this year and stepped up in a way that no one else on the planet Earth has. We've raised money for fallen firefighters. We've raised money for fallen police officers. We've raised money for, for victims of, of terrorism. We've raised money for cancer patients. If you even want to go through the ledger, 
we still come out on top. And that's before you even factor in the idea that we are a comedy website with the intent to make people laugh. Does everybody laugh? No. Does everybody like us? No. Do we offend some people? Yes. Do you have to like us? No. Do you maybe hate us? Sure. Perhaps. You're going to call me evil? You're going to say I'm misogynistic? You're going to say I'm a white supremacist? And then you're going to go blame my boss for it? And you're going to tell her that she can't play and support the game that she loves? Because what, you've been writing about it before her? Because she's new to the league? That's nice. That's inclusive. That's really practicing what you preach. Along comes a female boss, literally and figuratively, who says, hey, I want to play hockey. Hey, can I join the club? Hey, you know what? Let me in and I'll put you guys on. I'll give you some shine. We'll pump the league up. I'd love to buy a team. I'd love to be a part of this. I'd love to grow this to be something that's bigger than it ever is. I'd love to grow the NWHL into a real league. And what do you do? You turn your fucking back on her? And if at the end of the day you want to tear down Dave Portnoy because he's the one who's made some of those jokes, you want to tear guys down like me because I've been edgy and controversial and I've had my past, you can do all that. But there's one person beyond reproach here. Shout out Jamie O'Grady. One person beyond reproach, and that's Erica Nardini. And if there's one realm, if there's one area in which she is unfucking touchable it's what she's done for women's hockey. In the, in the most genuine, unselfish, selfless way possible. She's given herself to that sport, and you fucking assholes turn your back on her. Not only is that bad business, because she's the only one with a platform who cares, but god damn is that hypocritical. For a sport who needs more women, more people, more eyeballs, you got the one person ready to give them, and you don't do a fucking thing with it. As a matter of fact, you try to snuff it out and stop it from happening. I hope Erica Nardini turns her back on you. I hope she goes starts the NWHL, the Nardini Women's Hockey League. Fuck your league. Grab, go grab Kelly Babstock and Rebecca Russo and everybody with a sense of humor, with a fucking understanding of how the world works, with an understanding of how sports work. Go start your own league, start your own teams, and get rid of these fucking losers who can't hang. She did in a matter of months, which you couldn't do forever. Because she's a fucking boss, and you had it right there. You could have put out a statement saying, you know what, we ride with Erica. And fuck every blue check female journal, female hockey journalist with 200 Twitter followers. We don't give a fuck about you. But before you go throwing around terms like evil and misogynistic and, uh, and white supremacy and racism, calling us blatant racists and open racists, like what are you talking about? Again, a handful of instances that were lines crossed, sure. Were there things done that I don't agree with even as I work here? Yes. Things that I think erase decades of comedy and entertainment and growing fan bases and, and doing things for the community and the public and our fans and strangers and people in need. Absolutely fucking not. But at the end of the day, hate me, hate Dave, hate Barstool, talk your shit, write your fake hit pieces, make up your fake standards, make up your fake stories, get your clicks from us because we're the only fucking ones on the internet who, who move the needle. Do all that. That's fine. We could do that. We've been doing that dance for two decades. We'll do it for 10 more. But the one thing you don't do, you don't come at my girl, Erica Nardini. You don't come at her for Barstool. You don't come at her for hockey. You don't come at her for a fucking thing. Okay? Come at me, come at Dave. Leave Erica Nardini out of it. You had a you had a beautiful thing. You had the perfect opportunity, and you blew it. Female hockey, women's hockey, the NWHL, you blew it.